I thought we had a uh, finish this uh, week off strong today. Um, had a lot of different situations. Red zone, two minute today, heavier personnel groupings. So, you know, dove into that more this week. Um, thought we finished strong. So, um, a lot of good reps that took place. Situational football. Really pleased with the progress we're making. Today is uh, family day. Uh, I think the message to our team, we talk about forming a brotherhood, and I know that's kind of a cliche. I don't know if that's the right word, but we need to come together as a team. And uh, we talk uh, a lot to our team about the importance of relationships. I think uh, sometimes in the NFL you get away from that. And uh, we stress the importance of it. And today with Family Day, it brings another emphasis to that. So some of our players here, their wives haven't met you know, any, uh, each other, uh, girlfriends. So it gives us the time to do that. Plus, uh, for these guys, you get a chance to see uh, who's coaching their sons or who's coaching their, their husbands. So uh, we'll take advantage of that day today by doing that. Did individuals this week? How did he come out? Of I, I thought uh, I had him written down as a guy to talk about. He did. He had a really good day today. He just looks like he's. You know, sometimes you come back from an injury like that, you wonder the confidence level. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. Um, he just, you know, jumped right to the front of the line the first day he was back. Uh, he just has a, some ownership, and uh, you know, he's going to take advantage of his opportunity. I think he missed being out. And uh, he's not going to miss it. So I, he's a guy that has really had a couple good days. Will he do any team before summer break? Yes. You looked at, he'll get some reps. Okay. So we'll see you right now. Then. What's that? Next yeah. Week, we anticipate him. Team. Yeah, he should be able to get some reps in there. Who else is on your list? Um, I had Mercedes. Uh, I think he's doing good. I, the guy also I'd like to talk about is Blake. Okay. I think Blake is, you know, I haven't mentioned him much. Um, but uh, he, he's really doing a good job picking up, I think, his mechanics, his throwing motion. I think when you look at the balls he's throwing, I'm sure you standing on the sideline can see a difference. And uh, he, I, I just think he's really done a good job uh, you know, owning this offense. He's not there yet, but uh, definitely should take mention or should take notice to him and the progress he's making. T.J. Yeldon is somebody that I think has is, is, uh, done a nice job. I think that whole running back group, has done a good job uh, working together. They're each taking their chances, their turns. Bernard, D. Rob, Toby, you know, uh, Grant. He's and he's done a nice job in special teams and has caught our eye. So, um, offensive line. I think that's a big thing. You have a couple of new guys there. Can we bring that? You know, you've heard us talk about last season. Those guys need to play next to each other, build that unity. Um, you know, we really need to see that. It's coming. It is really coming with that group. I see him, uh, you know, Jeremy Parnell compared to Luke Jokel, different personalities, but you're seeing him gravitate towards one another. And if we can get that accomplished in OTAs, even without having pads on and things like that, I think that'd be that'd be really beneficial. Best free safety sample. How's he playing, and uh, how's that competition? Going? Yeah, he's doing. I think Sergio. I think uh, today. Uh, he showed flashes today, which I went over to the sideline and I told him, this, that's what we need to see. Sample has been progressively getting better. Uh, he's caught our attention. We're going to try to get him more reps. You may see him get some reps with the ones next week um, just to see how that shakes out. But when we're starting to do that, that means he's showing up. But uh, Sergio had a good day today. How is uh, first two weeks this year compared to first two last year? Well, um, I think defensively we're further along. Uh, you know, I think uh, we're, again, trying to create that standard, but I think the players understand what the standard should look like. So that's good. Offensively, we're progressing faster than I thought we would learning a new offense. Um, you know, I think last year when you have a bunch of new guys, I mean, remember last year in the offensive line, we really didn't know. We were trying to find out who the starters were, and I mean, even into the season. Where this year now we have strong competition, but at least they're playing side by side. And uh, I think because of that, and a lot of guys in their second year and third year, it just seems to be coming faster to them. If you would talk to our coaches, they'd say, without a doubt, we've got some guys that are really sharp, really sharp intellectually and knowing football. That, that is not an issue. The m number of busts on offense has been minimal, and that's a great sign. What do you emphasize next week? During this um, we got, uh, we'll uh, uh, go back through and hit some of the situations like red zone. Um, we, I think we have a goal line period, but that will be walked through. Yeah. Um, so just a few more situations that we talk about and then just get ready for mini camp. Any chance Clemens shows up next week? Uh, I don't know. I would, I would doubt it. You doubt it. Are you happy with the precision that the offense has? Yeah, well, when like you have minimal bus, you know, I think that's something that stands out.
Is that like during the play, or are you talking about? No, it'd be like up? alignments, assignments, guys doing the right thing. Um, you know, execution of play. Or, you know, if they drop a ball, that's not what we're talking about. We're just lining up the right shift, the right motion, and executing their assignments. You know, the finish part. You know, we'll keep working on that, but that part is minimal. So, which is a great sign. Offense aligned with protections. You know, pointing out the mic, how we're going to protect certain looks. Done a really good job with that. How, 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 confident the, uh, that, how confident do you sense that Blake is with the new mechanics and all the new stuff? Yeah, I, I, I sense it coming. Uh, he's always been a pretty confident guy. I mean, if you talk to him, he'd say, hey, I've got, um, you know, so many days until I've got to be on it. And, uh, you know, but I think you sense just his demeanor. But he's really, he's always been really hard on himself. And I think that if he struggles, he takes it personal rather than take just it's, it's part of it. It's part of it. I think he's dealing with that part much better. He just seems more mature. And, and uh, you know, I know he's enjoying the coaching staff that he's working with, but they're really, really challenging him. It's almost like it's never good enough. But I think that's what Blake loves about it. Let's finish with Rick. Gus, no uh, fullback. Any separation? Yet at tailback, and how much can you really tell without them passing? Oh, it's hard. I think we see signs like Bernard, I think, has really uh, done some good things. I, I told you about TJ, Denard, uh, Toby. Those guys right there are the ones that are really standing out. I think Storm, he's been doing really well, and then he kind of plateaued a little bit. We need to get him going. We need to get him going. Um, but those guys right there, I think, are all uh, you know, doing pretty well, so until we get the pads on.